Welcome back to Northern Lights Disc Golf. I'm Brian Lagergren. And I'm Bart Peterson. And today we have second round coverage of the Lake Superior Open PDGA tier, August 24th and 25th, 2019. Today's card we have Adam Olson from Cedar Rapids, Iowa, brought Riley Brenner from St. Paul, Minnesota, Kale Laviska from St. Paul, Minnesota, and Alex Geisinger from Rosant, Minnesota. Right now, hole one, we got 340 feet, mostly straight, with a subtle right to left. Uh, really plays over par, so get that three here. Kale coming in with a 10 down after the first round. Next up, we have Alex Geisinger sitting at eight down. Yeah, you don't want to go right. He got a good kick there. Yeah, I've played this course enough to know that he ain't going to like that lie. He should still be able to get up and down, hopefully. Here's Adam Olson out of Cedar Rapids, Iowa. Nice and straight. That Text, be textbook. Easy, easy three for him. And uh, whose drive did we miss here? Oh, we missed Riley's drive. All right, so... Riley Brenner. Looks like Alex trying to get out here, throwing two. Ideally, just to get into the open so he can maybe take a long run at three. Powering it out there. Wow. Yeah. Uh, that was a God. great shot. You heard the wows from the card. They know that that's excellent lie from where he was at. Pretty simple up and down for Kale here. He's just going to try to throw it in. Adam with the jumper. That's a great two look. So here's Riley. Riley actually had a pretty decent drive. He's going to have a birdie look here. A little straddle out around that birch tree. I mean, that's dead in his line. Uh, but it's makeable putt, so let's see if he can draw some metal. Oh, well, yeah. he drew metal. Only an inch, maybe, and that would have been a heck of a two. Looks like Alex is going to pick up his par here. That was a great save. That's how you scramble. And Kale. Kale basically dropping in three. Riley with an easy three. Going to have a bunch of pars here on the first yeah, hole. That's a great start. This hole can eat you alive. Hole two, 275 feet. Uh, basically is... plays left to right, and um, you know this this is going to play closer to three, so you want to get your birdie here. It's a nice, gentle turnover for a righty. I think the majority of these guys are going to go with a backhand. Yeah, if they can get it high, a lot of power, good turn, and then just float it in in that last 100 feet, they could be easy looking at two, maybe even... Maybe even park for drop in too. He went low. So too low. We'll see where that goes. I'll play back though. Alex is going to rip on a Oh, Alex, here. I forget about Alex's sidearm. <laughs> How can you forget that? Yeah, he threw that low enough. He might have got a skip, but it sounded like it hit something pretty hard, unfortunately. Oh, and Adam with a stand corrected on the, the backhand shots. He's going to get a huge flare with that low rip, and he got eaten up. A little early. Giving it a good run, but you can get yourself in trouble going long on this one, too. About 70 feet or so. Mm. It would be nice to see that one drop, but he's happy with the three here. Looks like Riley's going to be a bit closer. Back to that straddle. Is this his um, normal putting stance, or I guess we'll see. But yeah, Riley. I think Riley straddles quite a bit. Okay. Oh, yeah. just a little low. It's a shame. And here's Kale's drive. Yep. So he's looking at a nice two. Let's see if one of these guys can get this hole. Mm, 
hit a tree. Thank Must you. have had to straddle out around. Looks like straddle to the left. This is where Adam went a little long. Probably, you know, early in the round, he doesn't want to test her like this, you know, to save par, but he converts, so uh, good on him. You can see a handful of pars here, too. Looks like we got another star par. Hole two coming up. Um, you know, we're really looking at getting birdies here, and uh, we're probably going to see some. It's uh, 240 feet uh, straight. It's kind of a tunnel. you got a lot of guardian trees. Uh, but it's got an elevated basket, and that's going to be the, the factor here. It might um, impact your putts. In the middle of a basswood cluster. Yeah, and Cale just played a textbook. I mean, he might still have an obstructed putt, but um, he's put himself into position to get a birdie. This would be a great ace. See what Riley can do here. He went high and he's going to be in trouble up there. It's fighting. Oh, oh he's going to have a putt. Got lucky. Guys, and you might be throwing a putter here. I mean, it's that short, especially if you got the arm for it. Um, his looks like it turned over on him, and <laughs> it's going to be tough. A little bit of a backdoor putt. Adam playing a textbook. That's fine. I mean, it's straight. Really, just run it up is kind of the the mo here. Alex has got long and obstructed putt, um, but. Yeah. He's an excellent putter, yeah, yeah. so he could definitely convert. And he's asking the group if that's outside. And, and they say, yeah. So see if you can nail something. For the birdie. Oh, wow. He actually had a pretty clean look there. <laughs> oh, yeah. In disbelief, the group is. They wanted to see that, too, there. Um, looks like we have Kale here. Another little straddle with that basswood trunk right in his way, um, but he's he's hating that putt right now. A little now. low. Yeah, a little low on this elevated basket. Uh, looks like Kale just quick tapped out, took that par. Um, Adam had that run-up shot that stopped, you know, here 15 feet short. Good birdie. He's happy with that. You know, he's under par now, and, um, you know, he could score on this next hole, too. So good on him. Riley with the drop in. Yeah, it looks like a uh, hole four here. We got kind of double fairway. You can take that straight gap. Uh, a lot of backhanders are going to eye that up. And then you got this outside left gap, which is going to favor the forehand or possibly turnover. 280 feet. He's taking the inside lane. Come on. And this is good. This looks Shaking good. Oh. oh. It's going to cost everyone a buck. Chains. <laughs> Great look, <laughs> man. Probably throwing some kind of mid, maybe fairway here, and he's got a little bit too much turn on that. Got into the stuff on the right. Just a little early. Uh, still Kale's, Kale's been known for throwing M4s here, and he's probably going to give this thing a run. Definitely. He's throwing his M4. Yeah, he's just put it on a great line. Good height. It's oh, just look at this one. Gas. Oh, oh. that's good. Wow. That didn't need much to be an ace, you know, just like uh, Riley's shot. These are high-level players playing well. Um, Alex kind of hates that, but he's, you know, he's still at a shot where he could, he could have made that, you know, that left gap is okay. Uh, here we got Adam, a uh, long look. He's going to have a par, hopefully. Kale's birdie look. Yeah, Kale went a little long, but he'll take that. He's an excellent putter. There you bang, go. Bang. He got a two, so he's he's now under par, and he's liking that. On the board. Yep. And Riley, uh, Riley chained out to this position, and, you know, heck of a run. It would have been great to grab that ace on film, and I'm sure he would have watched it a million times like the rest of us, but he's going to sell for the birdie here and move on. There you go, Riley. 
Uh, and everyone else is going to tap out here, taking their threes. Uh, Alex tried to really jam that one in there. That's just how he puts, man. Yeah. That's why he likes these vortex baskets yeah. so much. He, he told can me really that. Grab some. Yeah, there's no spit through on those yeah. things. Hole five's a monster. It's uh, just a little bit under 800 feet. It's a par five. It's got a clearing. At the end of this clearing, there's a mando. And um, then there's a tunnel. And after that, there's a second clearing to a wooded green. Uh, these guys are really, I mean, some of them might really pound one out there, but they're probably trying to play position to set themselves on that tunnel. Trying to get right to the gap. Yeah. If not, penetrate just a little bit into there. Stay in the middle of the fairway. Kale might really put a move on this, but he's a smart player, you know. I think he's playing position here. Yeah, he's not throwing too hard. Yep. And he just finished right Perfect. before that Mando. He's Perfect. Right he's on even on the nice paved road there. And... Yep. Adam doesn't like this because it's going to want to leak a little bit to the left there. And you get in that, and suddenly you're kind of scrambling to get yourself back in position for a par. Yep. This is a little unconventional play, but, you know, Alex has got... He's, he's highly talented, and he could probably play a forehand from that position. He might be a little pinched over there. Yeah. The further right you get away from the Mando sign, the tougher the shot. Here's Riley. Oh. He macked off that thing. It's got some good carry, Forward but... Forward progress. He still doesn't like it. It's going to be in the middle, though. It shouldn't be too bad of a shot. To me, I think the second shot is is tougher. Oh, that'll make or break your hole. And, you know, Riley's kind of learning the hard way here. He could have been 200 feet further down the fairway. Yeah, Alex coming out with that forehand. and You, you see how that maple tree creates that low window, low ceiling. So Kale's drive right here. He's right on the path. He's staring at that basket, which is over the crest here in this next clearing, and then back downhill a little bit. Another yep, he fo basically followed that road up there and until it disappears. A little low, still good nonetheless. Okay. Um, this is Adam's drive. You could play a turnover forehand here, but um, you bring that ceiling into play. and you That's going to work. I think he's going to be out in that second field. You can get in trouble. Alex is really pinched off here. Uh, he may be able to make something work, but we'll see. He, it looks like he's electing for the forehand, um, and he's trying to really cut a gap. This is Alex's third shot. Yeah, he smashed this. Um, he's kind of going into that right side. Uh, he'll probably have a putt. Yeah, Every time. you can see the top of the basket that. right there. That. Kale liked it. <laughs> Kale liked it. Riley's looking to get out. Well, he's throwing his third right now. Trying to figure out which disc is going to work best for this tricky lie. He committed, um, but he was going more for distance yeah, than you can, placement. Now you can really see what he was trying to throw through. Yeah. It, it is really jail. Or plinko. In that case, yeah. I mean, plinko to kind of a bad spot, sadly. You know, he's well, he's thrown his fourth here, and uh, you know, this is par five, so you know, par out of it, unless he's going to throw this in. And he's looking more at that six, probably seven. And I've been there many times in this hole, sadly. Sadly. <laughs> yeah, I'm familiar with that barking at double digits territory on this one. He's hit his arm a little bit on that tree. Yeah. He covered a lot of ground. But Should have a putt up there. He's looking at, you know, bogey now. Looks like Adams is a little more forgiving. He's going to come in a little too early. He might be uh, obstructed by that big spruce. Kale's playing this textbook. Um, he's just looking to cut off a little bit every throw uh, and stay in the middle. So good for him. He's going to have an easy drop in for four almost. Yeah, he's really looking at that four birdie, and, and I'd imagine, you know, not looking at the scoring breakdown. Uh, this one is playing. Yeah, it looks over like five. Adam was stuck behind that tree. He just pitched up there. And... Uh, looks like Riley's pinned deep. Yeah, Riley's pinned deep, uh, laying five, throwing six. Um, let's see if he can convert for that bogey.
Oh, oh man. You got those nubless baskets, man. They can really launch them. He could have got launched even further. Yeah, he got lucky. <laughs> I've seen those turn into rolls, too. You know, they come off with some crazy action and just pick up legs and go. There you go, Alex. Alex likes that. Alex got a four. 34. Um, really, it didn't look like a four off the tee, but good for him. Yeah, his third shot was a great shot. Yeah, Adam's picking the, up a par. Got the par, that's fine. He, I mean, he's still leaving this hole in yep. the par after that birdie in the last hole. Or a hole, a hole two, twos ago, two holes ago. Um, and here we have Riley. You know, he's looking at a seven piece now, which is double bogey. Uh, Carded as a bogey. I guess we'll uh, check the score there. Kale getting birdie. That's good. Happy with that. Here we hold the tee. Uh, hole six. Kind of a new position. A little bit longer. Plays um, a little left to right. And 325. It used to be 290. We moved it back. Yeah, it's got kind of a great little design where you go up. Man, you got a guarded fairway. You got to keep that disc up green. high yeah, to actually give yourself that. a chance to get down there. Yeah, as Logger was saying there, that's the only way you're going to make the corner and um, and get some distance after that. Adam's showing the turnover. That's good line, height. And he's just covering oh, ground. No. Just got knocked down, sadly. Uh, looks like Riley's just trying to shake that bogey off and play this one good. Riley's got some nice height. It's going to come down a little too soon. Yeah, though. Riley. He's happy that's clean. Kale gave him a little congratulations there. Um, and you know, got to shake that bogey off somehow, and he did a great job on the next tee. So you, you can also see the fairway starts slanting downhill at this point, which also makes it a little tougher. Yeah, and that, that's kind of what Alex is thinking there. He says, you know, I'm already playing for the par, and now I'm kind of putting myself in this position to bogey if I throw it too long. <laughs> Kale's probably thinking that same thing, just throw it short. You know, why try to throw it in when you can put yourself in the position before? And he did just that. Here's Riley's second. Maybe thinking, get it close, draw some metal possibly, but you know, I don't blame him for taking that three there either. Yeah, I don't think there were very many twos carded on this all all weekend. Yeah, it's a great two. It's you know, it's I know one lefty that got it. I can see a lefty getting it. Yeah. Yeah, they got that advantage where they can really pull through their body and let it go with some height and a lot of speed. Alex saving his par. Alex is probably happy with that. You know, kind of a toaster pot. Riley's a little bit shorter of the basket than he wanted to be, but you know, he'll make this and move on. These other guys are going to tap out for their pars. A throw in two would be good here, but it's barely even worth it. You can see how quickly you can get in trouble going along with those uh, pine trees in the background. Get behind those ball and those bows and not worth it. These guys will move on, and um, hole seven is. Certainly something that, with their talent, and then everyone here throwing right hand, back hand, probably, uh, can get up and, and look at it, too. It comes out of this tunnel into a clearing and kind of finishes a little bit left. Um, looks like Kale's still holding the box. Yeah, you get clean out of that, that gap, and and if you have the power, it's they sh these guys should all be birdie in this hole. Yeah, Alex might even be throwing a mid here, uh, because you know he's known for... Covering some ground with the disc, and he's doing that right here. He's almost putting around the basket. No, he's going to be parked. Yeah, he'll be a good two on him. If he can convert, um, Adam's got some arm speed here, and he got clean. Yeah, you got to give it a little height. Yeah. yeah, for most of us, I mean, we're launching our max distance driver here and coming up short, but these guys got distance for days. 
And we forgot to mention up on the left side, kind of by the basket, you can see here just right in front of Adam, if you go a little bit too much hyzer, you could skip down that hill. Yeah, it's treble off of that left side. It's kind of natural because you get roller ways. Um, yeah, I'm just looking maybe for a tweener, you know, a little fluff putt, 2-3. And he's going to probably have to settle for that 3. Kale might be thinking um, about the 2 here. You know, I don't blame him because... Oh, he's, he's definitely going. thinking about a 2. Yeah. And I uh, just didn't draw metal there. That's fine. He's going to be leaving with a 3, hopefully. Oh, this is Riley really kind of smashed that long. Lane 2 looking for that birdie. Or lane... One looking for that birdie too. He gets. There we go, Riley. Yeah, he's chipping away at that bogey on hole five. If that tree would have been the basket, Alex would have aced it. Yeah, you can see that that uh, guardian maple tree there is just um, perfectly positioned where it can become an obstacle. It's funny green, how much that tree gives people problems. They can haul in high drives, though, that are looking to go along, and Alex learned and that. People that get stuck on the side behind it. And... Yeah. Adam gets his three. Get him in. Kale's going to drop in three, basically. Two birdies, two pars. Hole eight, 340, uh, left to right, and then kind of comes back to right at the end. And this one, you're, it's going to play over par, so you're looking for that three. That's a good play. Wow. Oh. Alex got I think the main one. obstacle on this one is just to miss that birch tree in the middle. Yep. Riley's going to get on a backhand here by the looks of it. And, um, you need to get this high as well as hit your gap. Yeah, I can see that backhand turnover really working this hole better than the forehand. The finish on the backhand is going to... Yep. What's gonna, yeah. Oh, he stayed up. There's Kale getting it high, but he left it outside. No turn. Hard. He ain't gonna like that, but he can still save three from there. Shots looking oh. good by Adam. Oh, oh and he got kicked. Oh, he got the double kick. Right. Got lucky. One more, and that's a free reach. That whole book. left side past that road starts to slant downhill. Yeah, it gets it ugly real quick down there. Kale's looking to get that three, and uh, he's got a pretty good opening here. Just a nice little backhand hyzer line. And he's checked it up. You can kind of see it right up by that tree there, the basket. And Riley's going to show us a very similar shot here to hopefully save his three. Nice. Adam's pretty obstructed. Those bows can come into play um, when you get a little bit to this left side of the fairway. Um, but he played it well. Alex just chipping up. Hope he saved his three. And uh, going long on this one is a, a real, a real thing. It's a real thing, <laughs> and it really stings. Um, these guys are Holy veterans. Shit. You know, well. Especially if they get to, you get too much ground play, that's one of the main reasons why you'll go long. Alex taking a little frustration off on the basket there with his discraft magnet. Go hard or go home. See, he's talking about how he loves those vortex baskets. Yeah, they catch them all. Not a lot of cut throughs. <laughs> Last hole in our front nine, 445 feet. Um, you know, you're teeing in the tunnel, there's a mando, you got to go left of that, and then it kind of turns almost 90 and goes straight for about 300 feet up to the basket. And Alex is listening. Listen, <laughs> listen in for James. <laughs> this one's a good one for a spotter. Um, yeah. You know, but there's a little pond there. There's a mando. Yeah. There's all um, sorts of stuff in the fairway. And these guys will hopefully navigate it. And, this you know, hole sets up really good for a righty backhand hyzer. Just nice, easy fairway driver. I think in 2018, Kale really put this one closer. Or, or in a previous year. He Back when it. the gap was even tighter. And when it used to play tighter. as a par four as well. Yeah. 
but we did a bunch of work on that corner and it, it opened it up so much that it, it kind of seemed ridiculous to keep it as a four. Yeah, and he just put a move on that. Um, we'll see where he ended up. And then Adam's throwing his drive here, maybe a little bit lower. Uh, he's going to be on that right side, maybe. Yeah, but make that corner. He made it. So. And when you look at this fairway, um, these guys didn't really leave much left, but the green does kind of run away from you, and yeah. that could put you in a position to, you know, miss your three if you're looking to lay up and you just kind of juice it. Slightly downhill on the fairway, but then once you get to the basket, it's a little more severe. Yeah, if these guys have, you know, got their practice rounds in, they're going to remember that uh, because it, it doesn't take too many times in this hole to, to find out that lesson the hard way. You know, Adam, or, um, Riley. Riley did throw it a little bit long here, and we'll see where that ended up. Adam had a great drive. Uh, that means, you know, Kale's probably way down there. Yeah, good tree. He's always stretching familiar. a lot, so. Yeah. Sounds really familiar. I think Kale's going to probably lay that up. I think I played oh. my first CCL with him. Probably. The one that you fucking uh, flopped off. He ain't going to like that. <laughs> but we'll see if he can convert for his three. Yeah. Alex put that pretty close. See if Adam can get his three. Yeah. Yep, it stayed in. Might have got away with one there a little bit. No, too strong. Alex is a bunch, bunch of pars. Three. Yeah, maybe a little bit of an illusion with Kale's shot. It looked like that was really going long, but um, he's just right up there. He knew what he's doing. And that one wanted to kind of get out somehow, but it, good catch by these vortex. So that's our front nine, folks. We got Kale at neg 12, Riley at neg 10, Alex at neg 10, and Adam at neg 8. Thanks for watching, and uh, join us for the Back Nine of Hidden Meadows LSO 2019. Thanks, guys.